Hey, welcome back to GFX Firm. Today I'm here with a motion graphics After Effects tutorial. It's a dark theme, it's a horror type uh, looking a cinematic uh, intro uh, title design. So let's have a look at it. Uh, all right, let's start by creating a new composition and going to and I have uh, Some stock stock images here. I'll just drop that stock image There you have it The link to this stock image uh, will be given in the description down below make it a 3d layer and just type in the text you want Okay, make that a 3d layer as well layer new and make a camera I'll stick with 35 mil. Okay, the composition that I created is too long. It should be 10 seconds long. All right, now I move. If I move the camera, if you hit C on the keyboard, that you can toggle the camera movements, dolly, tracking, rotation, and whatever you know. Bring this text forward and scale that down again until you see some parallaxing going on there you can see some and let's go ahead and animate the camera p on the keyboard selecting on the camera set a keyframe and move the playhead to 10 seconds and hit c on the keyboard and just dolly in like that okay select uh, both the keyframes hit f9 for easy ease and you want the text to reveal so go to the effects and presets and type in uh, evaporate this one uh, uh, in under animation presets you can just drop that uh, on the text layer like that and right now you can see it's reverse so we just need to reverse the animation again Select both the keyframes, uh, right click keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes and then you can just stretch the keyframe, just move it like that, camera goes in and the text comes like that. Right now it's very boring and it's not uh, interesting at all so we have some more stock footage here. We need to make it a little more grungy look and a little uh, scary, you know. So just drop the uh, stock, one of the stock image there like that and make it a 3D layer as well. And you can set the mode, blending mode to uh, hard light like that. And right now if you see the animation, it there is no no much of a parallaxing going on with the texture so I want the texture to move uh, towards the camera like that so that I have some you know parallaxing going on like like that so uh, once I move the texture towards the camera I just need to scale it uh, down so that I restore all the uh, little tiny uh, details of that uh, texture, that stock image. So I scale it down and you can have some parallaxing going on like that. If you need some more uh, texture on the um, uh, background, and that is the stock image, you can add one more, you know, this uh, texture on that uh, hard light and you can make it a 3d layer as well and just play with some of the position like that scale it down again uh, I'll just add uh, curves there color correction curves just turn off that the previous layer for a while and just play with these curves 
and uh, like 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 that think I want something like greenish tone to this you can have that kind of uh, effect there all right that is that and go and create a, an adjustment layer there and just apply uh, lens blur to that sorry where is the camera lens blur there you have it and you just need to play with this blur radius so you just need to uh, randomize the values of this radius this blur radius so as always we'll add some wiggle expression to this uh, radius by holding down alt on the keyboard and clicking on the blur radius and that way just type in wiggle uh, begin bracket say one comma and two and close the bracket uh, well I think uh, we have to set it to two there okay you can change the value of this to five maybe all right um, uh, we'll add one more effect that is uh, exposure uh, where is it color correction exposure just drop that on the adjustment layer again go and add an expression wiggle comma sorry we begin bracket one comma say two again close that out all right we have one more thing to do that is the the particles go and create a new solid go effect simulation and cc particle world just turn off the grid i don't need this grid and just uh, solo that layer for a while just let's work on the look of this particle for now so uh, i'll just go to the producer and just stretch that x y and z and uh, i want the particles to go up this uh do that just uh, lower the velocity to zero for now you can see it's falling down i want the gravity to be in the negative side because i want it to go up resistance turn that it's too fast maybe that is that will do i guess and the birth rate is still so high this is one still high 0.5 maybe that will do and let's go down directional axis maybe you know i'll just uh, uh, randomize these and directional axis so that it doesn't f uh, the particles doesn't move to you know straight and a very uniform i want it to move some kind of i want some random movements okay that is looking that's not looking bad either so go to the particles i, I want can select this uh, shaded sphere just uh, below the star and i just want to play with the bird size shaded sphere sorry faded sphere i just selected wrong it's faded sphere and just play with this let's turn back on the whole layer all right that is looking good set the blending mode of this particle uh, uh layer to uh add okay that's it we just need to add one more adjustment layer uh for the color correction cc for color correction just curves and tint tint to make it a little more desaturated because i don't want to be too much i don't want to add too much saturation here i just need to bring down the red channel and make it a little more greenish tone no solid for the letter box make it black and just letter letter boxing subtract that 
that's all for this uh, tutorial guys uh, if you want to download this whole template you can become uh, a patreon and go check out my patreon page uh, be a patreon uh, uh, and support my channel for more tutorials and more after effects templates like this one and thanks a lot guys this has been gfx firm and i will see you in my next video